Self-actualization is something all Sigma INFJs must strive for. Very quickly, self-actualization is about becoming the best version of yourself and realizing your full potential. Now, as outcasts and being different from everybody else can take a toll. You felt it all your life as a young child. In your prepubescence you felt it even more. Probably couldn't handle the fact that you are so different from everyone else. And were even made fun of by your peers. So you folded to the pressure and decided to try and fit in with everyone. Sure you did it for a while, gained a few generic friends. But then, in your late teens, that feeling started to get louder. You just don't get it. You tried to be like everyone else, to be interested in what they like. Tried going to places they go to and do the pointless banter, the small talk. But that voice inside kept singing a different song. Something keeps pulling you to see what's beyond that line where the sky touches the sea. So you finally try to break free. But in order to do so, you understood that this was a voyage you must undergo on your own. And you finally realized, those questions you ignored growing up must be answered. So you set sail into the unknown, for a better understanding of yourself. To finally answer your calling. In today's video we'll talk about the 10 questions all Sigma INFJs must answer. Number 1. Life's Pathways. Explore or Stuck. Have you taken the scenic route through the diverse landscapes of life's possibilities, embracing the twists and turns, or have you settled into the comfort of a well-worn, familiar road? It's in the exploration of different paths that you encounter new experiences, learn valuable lessons, and discover aspects of yourself that may remain hidden on a solitary journey. Stagnation on a single road may provide a sense of security, but it might also limit your exposure to the richness of the world around you. So, as a Sigma INFJ, are you actively seeking out new avenues, or has the allure of the unknown been overshadowed by the safety of the known? Life, likened to an expansive network of interconnected roads, offers an array of possibilities waiting to be traversed. Delving into various avenues not only broadens your perspective, but also allows for the cultivation of resilience and adaptability. The crossroads of life often present opportunities for personal growth and self-discovery, offering a chance to refine your preferences and values. In embracing diverse pathways, you may find unexpected passions, forge new connections, and build a tapestry of experiences that shapes the unique narrative of your life. On the contrary, staying entrenched in a singular route may provide a semblance of stability, yet it risks breeding monotony and inhibiting the evolution of your individual journey. The familiar road, though comforting, might lead to a plateau where the scenery remains unchanged. It prompts reflection. Are you navigating life with a spirit of curiosity and openness, exploring its myriad possibilities? Or has the allure of the known overshadowed the allure of the uncharted? Self-actualization often thrives on the dynamic dance between the security of familiarity and the exhilaration of the unexplored. Number 2. Inner Musings. Reflect or Ignore. Delving into the recesses of your own mind is akin to opening a treasure chest of self-awareness. It's a question that beckons you to consider the depth of your introspection. Are you actively engaging in the subtle dance with your thoughts and emotions? Or are they slipping by like fleeting shadows unnoticed in the background of your consciousness? Taking time for inner musings involves more than acknowledging the surface of your feelings. It's about diving into the intricate layers that shape your reactions, decisions, and perceptions. It's about being attuned to the nuances of your thoughts, understanding their origins and implications. Reflection offers a mirror to your inner world, allowing you to discern patterns, identify triggers, and ultimately, navigate the complex terrain of your emotions with greater insight. Conversely, letting thoughts and feelings pass by unnoticed might lead to a disconnection from your authentic self. It's akin to traversing through a garden without stopping to appreciate the blossoms or acknowledge the weeds. In the whirlwind of daily life, it's easy to neglect the significance of self-reflection. So, have you been an active participant in the theater of your mind? Or have your thoughts and feelings been mere spectators in the grand play of your life? The quest for self-actualization often involves pausing to engage with your inner musings, for therein lies the roadmap to understanding and embracing the essence of who you truly are. Number 3. 
emotional navigation, solved or confused. Navigating the vast sea of emotions is an integral part of the human experience. This question prompts a reflection on your emotional intelligence and the level of familiarity you have with the waves of your own feelings. Are you adept at deciphering the intricate language of your emotions, or do they occasionally present themselves as an enigmatic puzzle, leaving you in a state of uncertainty? Understanding your emotions involves more than mere recognition. It necessitates a deep dive into the roots of each sentiment. It's about recognizing the nuances between joy and contentment, sadness and melancholy, or anxiety and anticipation. An emotionally attuned individual can discern the subtle shifts in their internal landscape, allowing for a more nuanced response to life's varied circumstances. On the other hand, if your emotions feel like a confusing puzzle, it might imply a need for introspection and exploration. The puzzle metaphor suggests that there are pieces waiting to be fitted together clues to be deciphered in order to unravel the complexity of your feelings. In the quest for self-actualization, understanding your emotional landscape becomes a crucial compass. It empowers you to make conscious choices, cultivate empathy for others, and establish authentic connections. Number 4. Balancing Logic and Emotion – Thinking versus Feeling Life is a delicate dance between the rational and the emotional a balance that requires finesse and self-awareness. This question invites contemplation on the equilibrium between the cognitive reasoning of the mind and the visceral responses of the heart. Have you mastered the art of harmonizing these two facets, or do you find yourself swaying too heavily towards one side of the spectrum? Finding this balance entails acknowledging the value each element brings to decision-making and overall well-being. Logical thinking provides a structured framework for analysis planning and problem solving, while emotions lend depth, passion, and a nuanced understanding of the human experience. Striking equilibrium allows you to make informed decisions infused with empathy and authenticity. And if the scales tip too far in favor of logic, emotions may be suppressed, leading to a detachment from personal connections and a lack of fulfillment. Conversely, an overpowering surge of emotion might cloud judgment resulting in impulsive choices. The sweet spot lies in cultivating a synergy where reason and emotion coexist, complementing each other to create a comprehensive approach to life. Number five, connecting with the present. Present or lost in time. Life unfolds in the present, yet the mind has a curious tendency to wander into the realms of the past or the possibilities of the future. This inquiry encourages a reflection on your relationship with time. Are you actively savoring the moments as they unfold, or does the incessant chatter of yesterday and tomorrow overshadow the beauty of today? Being fully engaged in the present is a practice that invites mindfulness. It involves immersing yourself in the sights, sounds, and sensations of the current moment, fostering a heightened awareness of the richness that surrounds you. On the flip side, Getting lost in thoughts about the past can tether you to bygone emotions or experiences, potentially hindering your ability to embrace new opportunities. Similarly, constantly projecting into the future might lead to anxiety, as the uncertainties of tomorrow overshadow the potentials of today. So, in the grand tapestry of time, are you actively weaving the threads of the present moment into the narrative of your life, or do the ghosts of yesterday and the whispers of tomorrow dominate your attention? Because the path to self-actualization often flourishes when rooted in the now, allowing for a deeper connection with oneself and the unfolding story of your journey. Number 6. Self-Clarity – Yes or No Embarking on the journey of self-discovery is a perpetual odyssey, a process that unfolds gradually, revealing layers of identity and nuances over time. This question prompts introspection into the depth of your self-awareness. Have you reached a point where your reflection in the mirror is crystal clear, or does it still hold the mysteries of undiscovered facets? Because having a clear sense of self involves more than recognizing external roles and labels. It's about peeling back the layers of conditioning, societal expectations, and personal narratives to uncover the essence beneath. For some, this journey is a dynamic process of continuously discovering new dimensions of themselves. 
It involves embracing change and evolution, acknowledging that each experience adds a brushstroke to the canvas of identity, while others may find solace in a stable, well-defined self-concept, a result of thorough self-reflection and acceptance. Number 7. Dreams, actively pursuing or imaginary. Dreams, those ethereal aspirations that whisper promises of what could be, hold immense potential. This question invites introspection into the dynamic interplay between the vivid landscapes of your imagination and the tangible steps taken to materialize those dreams into reality. Are you an architect actively constructing the bridges between dreams and actuality? Or are your aspirations confined to the realm of unexplored potential? Because actively working towards your dreams involves more than wishful thinking. It requires a blueprint, a plan of action, and the dedication to take the necessary steps. It's the embodiment of ambition, fueling your journey with purpose and determination. The question then becomes a gentle nudge to evaluate whether your dreams are dormant seeds awaiting the nourishment of action. And self-actualization often thrives on the synergy between envisioning the possibilities and taking deliberate steps to transform those possibilities into livid experiences. Number 8. Inner Layers. Explored or Neglected. Life is a narrative woven with threads of roles, archetypes, and personal stories, each contributing to the intricate tapestry of your identity. This question beckons you to delve into the symbolism embedded in the various roles you play, the archetypal patterns influencing your choices, and the narratives that frame your experiences. Are you consciously engaging in this exploration, or is the deeper symbolism of your life left unexamined? Roles serve as the characters in the script of your existence, the devoted friend, the dutiful employee, the nurturing parent. Each role carries its own set of expectations, norms, and interactions. Reflecting on these roles allows you to discern whether they align with your authentic self or if they are masks worn out of habit or societal pressure. Furthermore, examining the narratives that guide your life invites you to question whether these stories are self-authored or inherited. Are you living a narrative that aligns with your aspirations and values, or are you unconsciously following a script written by external influences? Number 9. Authenticity versus Expectations. Authentic or Conformity? The delicate dance between authenticity and societal expectations is a fundamental aspect of personal growth and self-actualization. This question prompts reflection on the degree to which you remain aligned with your genuine self or succumb to the pressures of external expectations. Authenticity involves embracing and expressing your true thoughts, emotions, and values without dilution. It is an unapologetic affirmation of your individuality. Conversely, conforming to others' expectations can stem from societal norms, familial pressures, or the desire for external validation. This conformity may provide a sense of belonging, but it risks obscuring the authenticity that makes you distinctly you. Authentic living requires self-awareness, the courage to embrace your uniqueness, and the resilience to stand firm in your values, even in the face of external pressures. With that said, it's important to assess whether the choices you make are genuine expressions of your inner convictions or responses to external demands. So, in the grand theater of your existence, are you playing the lead role authentically, true to your own script? Or have you inadvertently become a supporting actor in someone else's narrative? Number 10. Harmony with change, adapt or resist. Life is a ceaseless river of change, and this question beckons you to reflect on your relationship with the ever-evolving currents. Adaptation to change is a hallmark of resilience and personal growth, and the inquiry encourages you to assess whether you are flowing harmoniously with the transformations or if you find yourself clinging to the familiar shores of the past. Harmonizing with change involves an acceptance of life's impermanence. It means embracing the ebb and flow of experiences, acknowledging that each chapter has its own lessons and opportunities. Adaptation requires a flexible mindset, an ability to recalibrate goals, and a willingness to let go of attachments that may hinder progress. 
reflecting on your adaptability to change, is akin to evaluating whether you are an active participant in the ongoing narrative of your life, or if you've become a spectator, yearning for a bygone era. So, are you a co-creator in the ever-changing symphony of your existence, adjusting the sails to navigate the winds of change? Or do you find yourself anchored in the echoes of yesterday, resisting the forward pull of the current? Self-actualization often thrives when there's a fluid dance between embracing change and preserving the essence of one's core values and aspirations.